this is Empress Virgo, Empress Virgo Tarot, back again with another reading. This time it is a magic love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever you guys happen to watch this timeless reading and it resonates with your particular situation. Then there may be a message in the reading for you. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into it. Huh. Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, and we have the Ten of Cups. So, hmm. Well, y'all have been working towards getting you your Ten of Cups. So, let's see what messages Spirit has for you guys, okay? So, to my Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Collective, okay? Romantic love messages, okay? As always, guys, just keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? It may or may not resonate with you or your particular situation. Take only the messages that apply to you and your situation and let the rest fly, okay? So, everything may or may not fly. Check your placements. That's all I can tell you, okay? Okay. We have the Four of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Prince of Gems, okay, the Three of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords, the Six of Swords here, the Three of Cups, and the Six of Wands, overall energy, the Strength card. Uh, trying to move forward and knowing how strong you are despite what you've been through in love okay let's see what's behind that to hide from you getting that love that you deserve is coming but you had to let go through a lot of tests a lot of lies and illusions with past relationships or situationships take it how it resonates for you okay you have the four cups like i said a lot of disappointment a lot of sadness uh, from trying to work with someone who really wasn't ready with ready for what you were ready for okay you were trying to build a long-term relationship a long-term commitment possibly marriage for those of you who wanted marriage i feel like a lot of you have new opportunity for love coming up but i feel like you have a lot of i don't want to say true anxiety but it could be anxiety or fear about will this particular situation turn out how something in the past turned out okay spirit is saying no with the ace of swords here you're gonna have victory with this next relationship or even this relationship this brand new relationship that you guys for some of y'all have gotten into i feel like a lot of y'all is you it's like you're waiting to that sigh of relief the six of swords is telling me that you're getting over the heartache and trauma of the past as you're move, moving towards someone new this new relationship is going to be cause for relief moving forward celebration and you're going to have the victory with this person three of cups and the six of swords is going to be happy times celebratory times celebrating with them family members and friends possibly a wedding okay anytime i see the three cups in this particular situation i see it as celebrating okay being with the ones you love J good times are coming okay victory is coming you paid your dues in the, the battlefield of love now it's time for you to have the happiness that you so desire that you have so been working for Remember when I split the deck, y'all had the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. You're going to get it. You've been working towards it, and you're going to find someone who's going to be willing to work towards that with you. Okay? Interesting. Whoa. That was quick. So let's see here. Additional messages for the Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Collective for Romantic Love. Clip that. 
y'all seen that it was on the bottom. Well, it was in the deck when I split it past life. So y'all got somebody that's coming to give you that security that you want. It says what is yours will always be yours. This love is secured by the divine. So you got new love coming in with that. And this person is going to feel familiar because it's a past life love. There may be a past life connection or unfinished business with this new person coming in. That's why y'all feel so. Did not say they're going to support you. That Ten of Cups and that Eight of Pentacles, they're going to emotionally support you and physically support you. Now it's the time to check in with your emotions and your partner's thoughts and feelings. This is someone new. This is the energy that this relationship is going to have for the two of you guys, okay? Dang. Okay. So that is all I have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If it resonated with you, please give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.